Welcome back, everyone. We have the one, the only, Mr. Bobby George. Bobby, how's things? Still here. <laughs> still smiling. <laughs> I'm still here, sir. Uh, look, got you in. Talk about darts in America because you went there and thoroughly enjoyed yourself back in the day. What was it like? I thought America was the best country to play darts in. Um, I used to go for a month a year, and it's tournament after tournament, non-stop. But the thing about Americans, they play a short format. 301, double in, double out. That's dangerous. Best of three. North America and Oldham, good money, about three legs, 301. But there's a lot of people that are going it because anyone could get beat at that game. Now, I'm going to tell you a story that I never told you. You don't mind it? I was in New York with little Richard, and these two guys come up to me and said, Oh, Bobby, I said, Hello, how are you? We played you in 1980 in the North American Open with Tony Sontag, first game. We practiced for a whole year because they come from New York. But the distance from New York to LA is almost the same distance from New York to London. Yeah. So they saved all their money up, they're practicing everything. And in America, what you do, you go up every leg, you go up to the bullseye. So the better players got an advantage, right? So I'll go to the middle, hit 25, whatever, and I'll go up 160. The other guy goes up, misses a double to start. Tony Sontag went out one for one. Perfect game, six starts. Right, ready? Yeah, up in the middle, up in the middle, hit a bullseye. I go off 160 again, and Tony went out one for one. Now, the second guy in the team, one guy went up to throw, right after me, didn't get off. Tony went out. The same thing happened again, but the, his mate never threw a dart in the North American Open pairs. Now, what is the odds of that? Have you ever anything like that? That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. And when I was in, a, in New York, Bill Richard was with me, and I met the guys, and they got on the stage and told the story. But I, I forgot all about that. That's, that's, I, I love America. I love the Americans. Um, what I like about Americans, when I played in North America and I'm in all, this, all the different tournaments, they got their mate, you beat their mate, they follow you. And they follow you, and they follow you. So at the end of the day, you've got half the people cheering for you and the other, other yeah. half cheering for the other guy. I just loved America. They used to call me Bobby, Bobby Dollar. <laughs> I said they called the dollars. I love their yanks. They're lovely. They're lovely people. Was it all over North America you yeah. played? <laughs> I played everywhere. Excuse me. I worked for Courage Brewery, and I worked for Watley's, was owned by Courage Brewery, and I was told America. But I didn't realise the distance, I had to travel every day. And it was um, a weird thing to travel. I could go home and come back, that's how ridiculous the distance. Yeah. And I, wanted, I can't remember exactly the state I was in. And I used to play with a fellow called um, Tommy O'Regan. He won the national singles three times on the trot. Very good dart play in my time. And I went went to this 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 bar. And I went out of the bar. He said, "What are you drinking?" I said, "I've a lager." Don't you recognise me? I said, "No, I'm Tommy O'Regan." I thought, "I can't believe it." He was my hero when I was young. You know what I mean? He had white hair. It, it was a lovely feeling to get it. Tommy O'Regan, people, if you listen to this, you look at this video, you wouldn't even know him, but you have to check up. Yeah. Tommy O'Regan was a showman. He was a great dial player. Now, I, I've got to tell you a little story. Tell me. We played at Chigwall, the Metropolitan Police Centre, where they train people. They've got a bar there, and I've done an exhibition. And I was a young guy learning the game. I learned off of Tommy O'Regan. And he went out and played. And then what he used to do, he used to knock a cigarette at the guy's mouth on double ten. All right? So he's talking to his boat standing out of the hockey with a, a cigarette in his mouth. All right? And he went down and down and down and down. Tommy, you got any more fags? He said, he said, no, don't worry. He went straight in his nose. 
All right, there we go. He said, brandy, brandy, brandy. They come up with a brandy, he dipped his finger in it, put his finger on the blokes where the, the dart went and drank the brandy. <laughs> That's class, isn't it? Uh, so he turned it around. Yeah. Yeah. But America, yeah, it's, 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 it's good. They're like Cain in America. Good players in America. It's a big country. You know, um, because you, we don't see them much. We say, well, oh, mountains ain't that good, but there's a lot of good players in America, I tell you. Did you get into cricket? When you were in America? Yeah, I won the cricket tournaments. I won, I won the first one I won was with uh, Ronnie Baxter, right? Because uh, he, he played it a lot. It's not just it's tactics. It's knowing what to go for. So what I done was a score. I done the, the, the trebles. He done the scoring. Uh, he was very good at it. Uh, Baxter was good. He was good at it. They called it Mickey Mouse. I do. It's tactics. North America, very much a soft tip environment as well. But the tide seems to be changing again. Obviously, the PDC are now over there. We've got the North American uh, Darts Championship, the US Darts Masters, and everything again. It's a real boom in North America again, which can only be good for the sport going forward. Because, like you say, huge country, huge landmass, can only yeah. be good for global darts if America can be breached. The only thing is, they changed the rules to 501. At 501, you got half a chance to win every league if you're a good dart player. 301 is dodgy. That's the only difference. If they made it 301, there'd be loads and loads of people going there. 501, they think, mm, I don't know. But they're dart mad, they love the darts, and they're lovely people, and I just love their dollars. Bobby, pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very much. And may the darts be with you.